Hey guys, this is our top five acoustic guitar amps of 2021. Hey guys, Chris here. And my name is Guillaume, hope you're all doing great today. We are, this is the last run, the, the last stretch, the last run of our top fives uh, of the year 2021, wrapping yep. up with the acoustic amplifiers, uh, which is always interesting because that's the only time of the year I get to play acoustic. <laughs> 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 not gonna lie, this is not like my specialty. Uh, but it should be fun, and uh, there's plenty of cool sounds in there, and plenty of cool effects. So let's let's start with the uh, yeah. let's start with the one 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 that's here. The acoustic junior Fender brought out this series this year, and uh, big surprise, a lot of you guys uh, bought yeah. it. It's 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 a nice compact thing. It has lots of features. It's not too heavy, not too big, but it sounds super full. It's full feature. It's kind of a really cool mix of what Fender were doing with their acoustic amplifiers, but bringing some of the, uh, you know, uh, Mustang, you know, that yeah. line of modeling amps yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah. The, I can see some of those features there, some like the knobs, you know, a few things that yeah. reminiscent FX of that. Yeah, effects, mix, and all the exactly. knobs remind yeah. us of that series. Yeah. I think it's a nice blend. Uh, as, as far as I remember, it's pretty affordable as well. And you have like both like full feature channels yeah. on there. So both can be used for vocals or exactly. anything with a, an XLR uh, cable. And of course, you have the line level. Uh, yeah. Jack in the middle, so it's a, a combi uh, jack, whatever it is. The Com plug, combi, combi plug. Com combi plug seller, plug seller jack. Plug seller jack. <laughs> I think that's how the professionals yeah. call it. You have uh, tons of effects, the obvious ones, of course. Yeah. Chorus, delay, um, hole, reverb, etc. And uh, you have a looper built in. That's which so cool. Which is crazy. I knew that there's a looper on it, but because we don't have a pedal attached, I wasn't expecting to be able to use it. But these knobs, I yeah. mean, if you're alone, it's kind of tricky with your toe. toe. Or, <laughs> <laughs> or you just do like, you, you do the loop that doesn't really start with the right, you yeah. know, it doesn't like start on the, on the one. one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or just an open tuning. There you go. Yeah, um, it's super easy to use. We obviously did not read the manual. I um, <laughs> don't even know if we have it somewhere. <laughs> Probably somewhere. It just, it's super easy to use and it sounds very enjoyable. Yes. Next. <laughs> Tiny one? It's that one. Did you even see it? <laughs> no, Could it's hiding behind it the microphone. Let me let me remove the mic. Did you guys see anything? Yeah. Yay big. <laughs> this is the Flight 6. Um, it is both a ukulele amplifier, a guitar amplifier, a Bluetooth speaker. It's it's new. It's new. <laughs> it's very practical. It looks very woody. Yeah, it's very <laughs> small. And uh, it doesn't sound Huge. that much bigger than what it looks like. Like yeah, it's yeah. a very, you gotta know 
what to expect. It's super practical, 100%, but it's not really loud. It's loud enough if you have like a really loud singer, or you're just singing real loud, and your ukulele or Doesn't acoustic guitar just cannot really yeah. cut it, it can just project a bit more and it will sound just a bit it's louder it. than the acoustic sound on an acoustic yeah. guitar. Yeah, I yeah. guess that's fair to say. Yeah. And uh, it is a nice sort of extension to the acoustic tone of the guitar. Definitely. It's also practical if you, like, you want a practice tool that you can just like put your phone, use the Bluetooth on your phone to just play whatever and play on it. Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah. it's, uh, it's definitely handy as well. And it's just... It fits in your pocket. It's, yeah, definitely. Literally. It weighs nothing. It's like, <laughs> put it in your pocket. <laughs> there you go. And now play. <laughs> Devil Strato! Sorry, I couldn't resist. I just had to fiddle on top of your That's okay, fiddle. that was a good fiddle. <laughs> a good fiddle. <laughs> uh, this, is a, this is a pro amp. This is a, how much, uh, like how many Wait, watts? Wait, because I, I keep hitting the guitar. I'm yeah. just gonna do yeah, that. Yeah. Just to... What was it, like 30 watts or how? Yeah, 30 plus 10 on the Twitter, I think. Like 40, okay, so 40, 40 watts total. Okay, so 40 watts. It's, it's a loud 40 watts and it sounds, yes. as we know of these kind of, Acoustic amps, yeah. they sound massive. That low end is really <laughs> impressive. That was kind of out of control. Yeah. Of and we are, what was it, like uh, 10 o'clock-ish, volume-wise? We were yeah, around, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. So not, not even, even halfway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. And it was an enjoyable um, volume at, at this, uh, at this For stage. Sure. And it's a big room too, so you gotta keep that into consideration. Like in a small bedroom, you definitely don't want to push it that much. <laughs> you will By the way, this is the Echo's 144 Street. <laughs> The five, the five version, inch version yeah. the five inch speaker version, and it runs on battery as well. If you want to, uh, yeah, it yeah, will work a, for a couple of hours. Obviously, eighteen volt battery slot in the back. Uh, if you want to uh, to go out and uh, and play, yeah, uh, busk, public. busk, busk like a pro. That's the cool and it has say. one effect, which is the only one that you need. I would need, <laughs> which is like a whole reverb, which is nice on vocals it's and acoustic nice guitars reverb. and everything, and yeah. it sounds natural and sort of subtle, not yeah. too much in your face. And it just uh, has two channels where you can plug in whatever you want. Uh, mic or instrument in the first one and instrument in the second in the one. Second. It's for professional or people who are already established musicians and you know want to have a serious monitor, like yeah. stage monitoring option with a nice EQ going to PA or that kind of thing. Like this is a really solid option. And also let's not forget about bands. I, I've talked to quite a few like uh, medieval kind of bands playing some instruments with some mics and then they use a yeah. small uh, mixer, like a tiny mixer, five channels, whatever, and then go into one of these. Mm. This can take care of more instruments yeah, because definitely. it has that big, super clear tone. It can act as a very compact PA, PA. for like a, an acoustic, uh, whatever, trio, quartet, whatever it is. Yeah, definitely. I don't think, the I don't think enough about medieval horns bands. Horns and, and stuff. It doesn't have to be medieval, but... Sorry, you know medieval I mean. friends. I, I'm stuck <laughs> on it now. I'm going to talk about it for the rest of the video. The you're going to the play the, the Witcher theme the song again? The next two arms better, better be good for medieval <laughs> bands, is what I'm saying, because, <laughs> you know...
Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> just not crying. Ah, it's, it sounded a bit like uh, Silverchair. Uh, Silverchair, uh, uh, yeah, that's true. I, that's true. Yeah. I love Savage. I thought of like Alice in Chains and the mix of Alter Bridge. There was definitely like a like an early nineties vibe to it. Yeah. Uh, through through the Harley Benton Table Amp, amp version two. We didn't rehearse that. That's no. even more impressive. <laughs> no, it's just that the two of us almost makes one usable person. You um, complete my sentences. Sandwiches. <laughs> sandwiches. It's the version 2, and it's been tweaked, uh, apparently. Yeah. Voicing is different, uh, etc. You, uh, you can use it with either an instrument or a mic. It's got both the Jack XLR combo with a little yeah. switch in the back. Uh, yeah, the new addition for the V2 was the Bluetooth, so that's cool if you want to practice loud enough as well. And we tried like putting it like at table level, just to make sure that it was really a table amp. <laughs> It is. It is. It sounds yeah. It sounds even better on a table. It's not <laughs> super loud at all. So this is not going to be your, oh, I'll amplify myself that 50 people will hear me. It's it's not going there. We are three quarters of the way up yeah. on the guitar volume right now. And uh, this is around the edge where it starts to distort if you hit, if you hit the strings hard. hard yeah, yeah. Yeah. So uh, it is not quiet. And if you're in front of it, then the beam, it's loud. But it's not going to be... You know, stage loud. Yeah, yeah of it's course. not that. It's not its purpose. It's a table amp. It's Definitely. nice to to just, I don't know, play for a couple of people or just yeah. enjoy your Put otherwise not your, enough uh, loud instrument. Put that in your living room. Plug in your yeah. ukulele. Your, yeah, your sure. Or just uh, practice over some backing tracks or original music you want to, I don't know, strum with or practice with. It's um, it looks cool too. I like the grill. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it turned out pretty well. And that was the Altega C1 amplifier. I mean, it has a couple of effects, chorus, reverb. It has two channels, one of which you can use for a microphone. It has the XLR input, yep. uh, but it doesn't have a battery built in. So this is gonna this this will need AC. And uh, yeah, it's a bit less modular in that way for sure. But the thing is, it is also more affordable than the, the Acus, for example. So. Um, and it does offer like a similar kind of service uh, with the layout and the even more in terms of volume. That's like oh, a, absolutely. I was about to say yeah. like the one big plus is that it has 100 watts. Yeah. So that's volume right there. You can definitely use that in a, a medium-sized location, for a, wherever. For a medieval band, <laughs> most notably, you could fit a whole medieval band in that in, in that, that housing. They will not um, fit in. <laughs> no, but it's cool. It's cool. It's a good, like a little bit more affordable uh, alternative to uh, to the Echoes, uh, roughly. The one for street was um, around seven hundred ish, and this is around five. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so change, puts again. it maybe more in the ballpark as, as the, the Fender was in that respect. Yeah. All right. Which one, which one was your favorite? Mm. Me personally, I think I would take the Fender if I needed volume um, okay. and, and power was not an issue. Like yeah. I could actually plug it in somewhere. Yeah. That would be, that I enjoyed the tones. It was rich, but not too overwhelmingly bass heavy yeah um and it had nice effects and the looper is just awesome if Pretty i ever cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. like the last two times i had to play an acoustic through an amp like an acoustic amp yeah i wanted a looper so bad and i was too lazy to grab a pedal board put some sort of a battery something on it and patch up a looper and i was like ah whatever that's true but that's something i would definitely cherish and would definitely use whatever kind of wedding gig it is or a bar yeah, yeah, yeah. or just you know having friend having fun with friends and just throw on some something and I love that it's like first situation where you play acoustic yeah wedding gig and then the <laughs> yeah well it was no, no, it was it. a wedding it was my it. sister's wedding but you know I, it's something that that makes a lot of sense to have if you're playing alone yeah looper is just killer no for yeah. sure it's definitely a good argument uh for that what's up with you um I I could say the same thing 
Um, that being said, I kind of like the foam factor of that one. So I'd say, you know, if I were, because I wouldn't use it as an amp per se, but more as a, as a monitor. As a PA, kind of thing. basically. Okay. No, no, no. Like, um, yeah. Like a, like a stage monitor stage for yourself. Stage monitor for ah, myself. All right. Okay. And then take the DI out to have like a solid, like EQ, then reverb sound going into the mixer. Like if I'm, if I'm, if Theo and I are actually starting our Dave Matthews project uh, cover, you know, a tribute, sorry, tribute band, uh, that might be happening. So, yeah, that's the use I would have of, of that kind of that kind of amp. And um, I don't know, I like I like that. It looks, it yeah, looks, it looks nice and raw and and, and it looks kind of old, authentic. Yeah, I like it. But the real question is, which acoustic amp is your favorite that came out this year? Is there anything uh, that we missed? Might be some things that you know we didn't even uh, consider in terms of Bluetooth tabletop applications or whatnot. So let us know what you use in the comments. And while you're there, you can also, of course, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, subscribe to the channel. You know what to do. That would be absolutely awesome. Yes. Thank you very much in advance, and uh, we'll see you very soon. Bye bye. Bye.